A researcher's scientific impact and credibility is often countered by his or her citation indices. Hello and welcome back to research and publishing series of Explore Bio with Dr. Abhishek. In today's video, you will learn what are different types of citation indices such as I10 index and H index along with examples. So first let's understand what a citation is. If some researcher refers to your paper and cites it in his or her study, it is termed as citation. It is always right and ethical to cite the study you referred. Your total citation is cumulative of all the citations received by all your papers. Coming on to the major criteria for assessing the researcher's credibility which is I10 index. I10 index tells the number of papers that are cited at least 10 times. So if you have 20 publications which are cited at least 10 times, your I10 index would be 20. Next most widely used citation index is H index. H index refers to the maximum number of papers cited by others that particular number of times or more. For example, H index of 10 means your 10 papers have received at least 10 citations. If 20 of your papers have received 20 or more citations, then your H index will be 20. There are several websites such as Web of Science, Scopus, Google Scholar where you can find information about these indices. But results may vary depending upon the criteria of citation count. Now let me show you how you can check the citation index of any author using Google Scholar. For this, you need to type in the name of researcher whose citation index needs to be checked. You can visit his or her profile which will provide information about all the papers, year of publication, citation received along with the summary in the form of citation indices as shown here in the right. But how important are the citation indices in judging a researcher's credibility? Well, it all depends upon who is evaluating. A plant biologist may receive lesser citations compared to animal or human biologist. It also depends upon the topic you are working on. If you are working on a topic that is more popular worldwide, then there will obviously be more readers referring and citing your work. But for a highly specific research niche, you cannot expect high citations. New methods, technological advancements, review papers, clinical studies usually attract broader audiences and hence your citation index might go up. So here we come to the end of this video. Hope you find the information useful. If yes, then do hit that like button and share it with others. You can check out my entire series of videos on research and publishing that I am sure will definitely help researchers like you in your career. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay connected with me. Thanks and see you in my next video.